separate place. I have my cube and instead of having it centered on the origin, I'm going to get the move and I'm going to pull it up. Oh, look at this. I, <laughs> I changed. Yeah, and now all my type is small. Anyway, um, here's a cube. I don't need it to be that wide, so I'm going to scale it in a bit. Then I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to face select, select the front, and I'm going to use inset and bring it down to how big a fireplace I want it to be. Then I'm going to go get the move tool. Come on, show up move tool here. Move, thank you very much. Turn the screencast keys back on. There we go. There's a neat little tool at the top, right about in the middle, that's got a, mag uh, a magnet. Turn on that magnet, that's the snap to, and then I'm going to snap to an edge. I'm going to select a line, that line at the bottom, and I'm going to snap it to that line there. No, don't do that. Just, why does it do that? Anyway, do not click on it once you've moved it or it'll shove it to the side. Why, I don't know. Now, just to make sure everything is groovy, type A to select all. Go up to mesh, up here, mesh, clean up, which is down near the bottom, and merge by distance. And that will take anything you put one thing on top of another, it'll just make one out of it. Now go to face select again and click on this face that I clicked on, which will be highlighted when you get it. Type E for extrude and aha, I've still got that on. Turn off the magnet, type E for extrude, and push it back as far as you want it. Now, if I wanted to make a, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, what do you call it? A mantelpiece! If I wanted to make a mantelpiece, I would click on this, extrude, which is just type E, and bring it up as far as you want. Then I would get this and this and this and I would go Alt E and select extrude along extrude faces along normals and pull it out. And it gives, I don't know why it does this, it always gives you this weird shape. So what I'm going to do, since I don't want this weird shape, is when you do the um, SZ and SX and stuff, it you got to remember that it's saying, make it perpendicular to the line. So I want it perpendicular to X, which is S. So I type S, X, and zero because I want it by zero degrees. And there we are. Same thing on the other side, S, X, zero, ta-da. That's cool, and I think I'll bring this front out a little bit. That's very nice. And suppose we want a chimney here. I would go and I would grab this line and pull that back. Then I would grab this and extrude up. And there's your chimney. Ta-da! Save. 